What is up, everyone? It is your boy, Michael, here at Playthroughs for You, bringing you episode number 20 of our Hardcore Iron Man Randomized Nuzlocke. As you can see, I got a nice little haircut I've cleaned up a bit, shaved my beard, got a nice little haircut. And today, we're going to be fighting Maxi and then making our way into Flannery. And of course, I actually remembered for you guys to guess what our static egg will be if you want your chance at naming the Pokemon that comes out of it. We'll have a couple episodes because it'll be a little while till it hatches. But if this is your first time checking out my channel, thank you all so much. I truly appreciate it. If you want to know what a Hardcore Iron Man randomized Nuzlocke is, go ahead and check the description down below as it has all of the rules. And it also has a link to the playlist. And you don't want to miss that. Honestly, you really don't. We're actually going to switch uh, into Lyle here. Nice, easy switch. For those of you that are returning, thank you all so much. If you end up enjoying the content today, just do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button. All right. Okay, so we've got Mega Punch here. A lot of suggestions. A lot of you people are, are saying I should teach Spark to Lyle. I'm actually really liking that move. Lyle's got amazing stats all around. And you know what? I think I'm going to do it. I really do. It gives us some really good type coverage. Uh, don't really have to worry about going up against a ghost Pokemon because we'll be able to hit it. Now, we do have Metronome. And we do have Transform, but I don't really like either of those moves. Metronome, uh, just <laughs> just because of self-destruct and explosion. I just don't really feel like using that. Not at all. But, man, Lyle. I know Clefable has used Minimize twice, but if we could hit, that would be absolutely amazing. Please, just hit. Thank you. There we go. We get the KO on the Clefable. Absolutely amazing. All right. Hit him on top. Uh, we'll switch. We'll switch into Ronald. If you are new to the channel, I upload every day at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm going to do that for over a year. So... If you want your chance at seeing all the Pokemon content, this is definitely the correct channel for you. I'll tell you that right now. Pursuit is super effective, but it's not going to do that much because it's Hitmon top. <clears throat> Nightshade's going to do a flat 30 here. We'll definitely be able to two hit. Uh, oh, okay. I guess Hitmon top has more than 60 HP. Fun fact over the weekend, I started playing Pokemon Sword and Shield again. I also never beat those games, so I'm making my way through it. And the real reason I never beat them was because I felt like it was too easy. I really did. Uh, like, once you got to the wild area and you unlocked the mystery trade, you just got access to all sorts of Pokemon that you weren't supposed to have. And I just, I don't know. It, it didn't feel... It didn't feel very, like, authentic to me. But I'm doing it anyway. I'm using Pokemon I've caught uh, instead of Pokemon I've gotten through trades, so... <clears throat> We're doing what we can. We're doing what we can. We'll bring in Jeff here. Because Jeff knows Water Gun. And I think Jeff is going to be able to take out this Torkoal. No problem. No problem at all. You know, when I actually saw Torkoal, I thought that that's what Numel evolved into. Uh, but that is incorrect. That is not what Numel evolves into. Good thing we're going for a special attack type move here, so that <coughs> does nothing for us. Curse again. Okay, speed fell. Attack rose and defense will rise as well. That's uh, not really going to do anything for him. He's using a super potion here. We're just going to get two water guns off and hopefully KO the Torkoal. Hopefully. We might get a crit. Who knows? Uh, we don't. He lives at 1 HP. Another curse, huh? Hmm. I wonder why he's going for so many curses. I don't think he's going to heal again, do you? No, he doesn't. Well, that was an easy, very easy fight against Maxi. Jeff's going to hit level 31. That's going to be pretty nice, honestly. Protect? Uh, I don't think we need it. I don't like the move. <clears throat> I feel like it's better in uh, competitive play. All right, so we're not gonna mess up. Uh, here comes, here comes Archie. He's so happy. 
And again, <clears throat> Team Aqua looks like the good guys here. But in reality, both of them are equally as bad. They have different uh, world domination plans. So. so we're going to make our way down here. This nice little lady down here sells these lava cookies, which uh, heal any status ailment. However, we cannot buy those. So what do we have as our lead? Sal, that is perfectly fine. We're going to be fighting a nice hiker here. And we are essentially on our way to the fourth gym badge. Sunflora, perfect Pokemon for Sal here. Absolutely perfect Pokemon. Get a nice little Ember. It has been a while since we have healed, hasn't it? Okay, wow. Growth. Let's go ahead and write nine down because that's where we're going to be at. <clears throat> Got a little string on me. Got to take that off. All right. Hitmonchan. We will switch. We will bring in Ronald. Hitmonchan uh, probably knows some moves that are not fighting. Like Ice or Fire Punch or Thunder Punch. We'll see, though. Also, could no Pursuit. Agility. It went for Agility. Uh, let's see if this matters. If it does, Pursuit will hit. Shouldn't do too much. Thank goodness. And Ronald will finish him off with another Nightshade. Absolutely beautiful. 600 experience. Alright. We are going to switch. I My inputs are faster than what the game can handle. So what does Delta have on him? Silk Scarf. <clears throat> I think Lyle has the Lucky Egg. Oh, it has a Bright Powder. He's got the Lucky Egg. Ah, uh, Carl. Well, we're going to give that to Delta. Alright. That's who we're probably going to be switching into here. There's a little Team Magma person. Because we're going to have a double battle up here, so we'll put Delta in Carl's spot. Guys, make sure you get those crit guesses in if you want your chance at naming our next starter in our Hardcore Iron Man Randomized Nuzlocke. It's going to be Season 4, and it's going to be fantastic. You guys are going to be so excited. You really are. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. <clears throat> of course, we get paralyzed. Why not? Oh, he goes for the curse. Well, we're going to switch out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Now does it. It's a lot of experience, so. We will switch, yes. Um, Numel. Oh, we'll bring in Delta. I don't think Numel is rock type. I'm pretty sure it's just ground and fire. If it is dual type. I know it's definitely fire. I'm also pretty sure it's ground. We're just going to go for strength here. And do a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. The one-hit KO. Delta's looking good. Mischievous. Uh, we are going to have to switch here. We'll bring in Jeff, actually. Jeff is a good candidate to bring in. He's got uh, Metal Claw, I believe, now. So It's been a little while since I've recorded. Basically, the weekend. So, happen to remember what some of these uh, dudes know here. Oh, my gosh. The one-hit... Oh, what an absolute animal. What an animal. Alright, the ground is too bumpy. All right. oh, everyone forces us to call them back. I don't like it. Huh. I'd rather get the battles, to be honest, than the item. I'd rather get the battles. But I guess I could have gotten both, huh? I wasn't paying attention. One and one, they got Walren and Yanma. Alright, so we're going to have to switch out for Carl here. Oh, mm, Sal and Carl. Yeah. Shift. Not exactly what I wanted uh, to do here, but it it's... Uh, <coughs> we're doing what we're doing. Walren kind of sucks. <laughs> the ice type is uh, no bueno for Jeff here. Because Jeff gets 
Sonic Boom. That's flat 20 damage, but Delta's a thick girl. Body Slam? Okay, that's fine. So, priority here is Walrin. 100%. Priority is 100% Walrin. Quick attack, it's fine. It's not going to do anything to Jeff. I think we outspeed, though. If Jeff outspeeds Walrin, Delta should outspeed Walrin. Okay, that's some good stuff right there. Yanma does 20 damage flat. Worst case scenario here. So, we're just going to... Use our strengths. Another quick attack here. Beautiful. And we should be good to go. Is that a one hit? Sure is. Because Jeff's a legend. Sounds level 25. Any bite yet? Nope. Not yet. Alright. Well, that's both of those trainers down and out. We may have one more trainer. We'll see. We do. This little guy. <clears throat> this little guy. Let's see what he's got. Two Pokemon. Pinsir. Hmm. He's a fighting type Pokemon. I don't know if it knows any fighting type moves. But I don't really want to stick around long enough to find out. So we're bringing in Jeff. Focus energy. All right. We're going to go for Metal Claw here. And the Harden. Focus energy into Harden. What a strat that is. Could you imagine if moves like that could crit? Instead of like one stat boost, you get two. Seismic Toss is going to do a flat 20 damage. I guess that is a fighting type move. Jeff's got a good amount of HP though, so I'm not too worried. Just another Metal Claw here. Easy money. Easy money. All right, what do we got next? Grovile. Oh, no, I think we're good, honestly. We're rocking bugs, so we should be fine. Uh, I'll just go for Metal Claw here. Oh, yes, Jesus, the one-hit KO. Jeff, you are an animal. You really are. In the best way possible, you are an animal. In the best way possible, you're an animal. Alright, so that's it for the pass. Now, this little guy's not a trainer. But, he's upset. All right, we are going to use a heal here. We definitely need to. It's going to be the first heal of this town. <clears throat> and, of course, we get an egg here. I don't really want to box any Pokemon, which is unfortunate. That lady right there gives us the egg. We got the herb shop here. There are some hidden items back here in the spa. So I'm going to check that out. I think, there, I think there's one. Yep. <clears throat> Lax incense. All right. I think that's the only one. That is correct. Okay. We're going to make our way through the gym first. And uh, then we are going to snaggeroo our egg here. Mainly because I'm not going to have an egg with me the entire time. When we could be uh, having a Pokemon that won't get us killed. Since eggs can't fight. Seems pretty self-explanatory. All right, Fisher Joey sent out Blossom. I love all these grass leads. I really do. It's uh, really helping Sal catch up a lot. Ember. Just really need him to learn Bite. I really do. Magical Leaf. I will do some damage, but I won't do a lot. Ten to be exact. And we will finish this Blossom off with a Fat Ember. And that's going to be some good experience here. Because Blossom is a final evolution. 1300. Oh, yeah. Ursaring. We will switch. We will switch. We'll bring in Delta. <laughs> Want to bring in the people that have the lucky eggs, honestly. Really do. We don't really ever have to come back to this town, so theoretically we can use all of our heals uh, while we're here. I doubt that we will have to, though. Especially when we get a Leer. We'll just finish it off with Strength. 
Could use cut, but I don't want to risk missing. And I'm pretty sure Earth's Ring no slash. That's our first crit of the episode, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you get those crit guesses in. Delta's level 31 with 133 HP. What an absolute monster of a woman. What an absolute monster of a woman. So that does nothing for us. So we went the complete wrong way. I'm going to come up here. That's fine, though. That means we won't get caught off guard by a uh, trainer as we're trying to leave here. So that was all according to plan, I promise. Kim sent out Swablu. I'm pretty sure it's not Dragon yet, so Ember's going to be good to go. I am concerned that this thing might use Sing, and I don't really want that. All right, Astonish. Not really going to do that much. That's a crit, though. Another Ember, and we should be good to go. Sing. Ah, yes. Sal does have Insomnia, though, so he wakes up pretty early. So it might just be a, a one-time thing. Hopefully it's just for one turn. I don't really think Swablu can do that much damage to us. Astonish, Growl, Safeguard, and Sing is probably what this Pokemon knows. We'll see, though. Only two damage. All right, Sal woke up, which is real nice. This might be level 26. It depends on how much experience Swablu is worth. Oh, yeah, it definitely is. 80 HP. We're getting up there. We're getting up there. Yes, you were not in control at all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. Thank you all so much. If you are new and you watched all the way until the end, consider subscribing upload every day at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, of course, if you feel like coming, just let me know how you're doing. Feel free to do that. I reply back to everyone. And until next time, I'll see all you beautiful people later. Thanks so much for watching.